Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's video is based on the problem sent to me by one of my subscribers by the name I believe from India and uh, here is a problem a man is heterozygous for autosomal gene uh, capital B uh, and small b genotype and he carries a recessive x link allele D what proportion of his sperm will be BD and here is uh, possible answers. I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And uh, I have to say that I added uh, one more answer here, none of the above, because none of these answers are correct. I'm just wondering how many um, problems sent to me from India uh, by my subscribers that contain mistakes in the problems that is impossible to solve or have multiple solutions. I believe that this is just due to uh, some lack on the professor side who um, just take uh, problems from internet without uh, checking the problem itself and answers. So how we are going to solve this problem? First of all uh, we are told that we have a man and man's genotype would be X and Y two sex chromosomes and uh, also we know that this X would contain uh, recessive allele D and um, of course that means that male can produce two types of sperms the first type would contain X chromosome and when uh, this type of uh, gamete would join with female gamete and female can produce only um, gametes with X chromosome because females only have two X chromosomes uh, this uh, means that this type of sperm would produce uh, girls and the second type of the sperm would contain Y chromosome so as you see, uh, we would have one half uh, sperm that bears X chromosome and one half that uh, contains Y chromosome. One hundred percent of this type of the sperm that has uh, X chromosome would also have uh, recessive allele D on it. There is no other choices, you see. Now we also have to take into account uh, that uh, this uh, male is heterozygous for the autosomal gene uh, and uh, may have uh, with a capital B or small b so uh, this male has two uh, chromosomes one have uh, dominant allele B another is recessive allele B and these alleles uh, are not on the X chromosome, on the different chromosomes, so this type of sperm also can be of the two uh, variants. The first variant can be uh, with uh, capital B or dominant allele and with small b allele. So once again one half uh, here and one half here. And that uh, sperm that has um, Y chromosome also may have uh, with a dominant allele B, autosomal dominant allele B or autosomal recessive allele B. So also one half probability here and one half probability here. So if you like you can change one half to 0 0.50 or to 50%. It doesn't affect our calculations. So, uh, in order to find probability of this genotype, we have to multiply probability of the sperm contain this uh, chromosome and uh, this uh, autosomal allele. So, we have to multiply one half by one half. So, probability of the progeny to belong to this uh, genotype, which is XT capital B would be one half multiplied by one half 
and the answer would be one quarter. Probability of the genotype which is XD and small b, XD and small b also would be one quarter, one half multiplied by one half would give us one quarter. Yet we uh, may have another variant of the genotype that this um, male can produce and this is going to be uh, Y and capital B and this is also going to be one quarter and the last uh, variant of the genotype would be uh, this genotype here which is uh, y and small b and probability also would be one quarter. So as you see uh, our question is what is the uh, proportion of the sperm will be b d genotype. In other words x d b genotype which is here and as you see uh, the answer would be one quarter and also as you see there is no such answer here so we have to circle uh, answer E. None of the above would be a correct answer. The correct answer would be one quarter. The name of the method that I use today uh, in order to solve this problem is called fork line method and this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Please share with your classmates. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.